Andy Martin. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Um, I do not in any way uh, doubt the sincerity of the Right Honourable Member or indeed of uh, Her Majesty's Government. As he says, nobody should face punishment for who they are or whom they love. However, this does set up real difficulties for this country and for our relationship with such a country. Because, of course, it is entirely possible that we might well have an LGBT member of Her Majesty's Government uh, on official business visiting Brunei. How are we going to cope with that? Um, the, uh, the movement against apartheid in South Africa, I remember, and I'm sure the Right Honourable Member uh, uh, remembers as well uh, from his childhood, uh, started when uh, the South African regime refused to allow Basil Dolivera to play cricket uh, in South Africa. Uh, what is our attitude going to be if uh, the Brunei regime starts to make uh, concerns felt about having LGBT members of our armed forces serving in Brunei? We cannot have a sensible relationship with a country which refuses to accept that some people are the way they are. And I, I feel strongly uh, that uh, more needs to be done from this government in order to ensure uh, that that uh, is done. And can I also add, I, I, I believe the Right Honourable Member misunderstood my uh, Honourable Friend from Bristol North West when she was talking about uh, asylum. Um, when she was talking about people who are seeking asylum in this country, you need to have, I, I believe the Right Honourable Member needs to have a serious conversation with the Home Office. Uh, order, order. Not have. Thank you. Thank you. Um, as it happens, we do um, have...